City of East Liverpool, deeply rooted in tradition. Every seven, six years, a big celebration takes place in the city, welcoming back alumni for an all-class reunion. How the tradition started, just as unique as the event. Anchor Lindsay Watson's live in East Liverpool. She's gonna tell us more about it as the bells ring. Yeah, Dave, this event is all about the past and present coming together. This year, it's all about wearing your blue in 2022. Behind me here at the Clock Tower and Alumni Association building, people are registering for this event. Like you said, it happens every six years. And a big reason for that is because of the Clock Tower and the Alumni Association building. But how did that all come to be? That's what I found out earlier this week. Take a look. The clock tower is a staple in downtown East Liverpool. Anywhere you go in the city, look up and you'll find it along the skyline. It was built to represent the original high school that had been torn down and saved the beloved clock that was once part of the building. In order to get the money to make that happen, they needed something big. Something like an all-class to call everybody back. That's Matt Parks. He's the current chairman of the all-class reunion. He walked us through the history of the all class and helped us go back in time while showing us around the alumni building, which is part of the clock tower. The original alumni group went through pages of yearbooks to call people back that first year. Finding previous alumni, reaching out to them and starting this event. Matt's dad, Mike Parks, was among that first group that launched the campaign to start the all class and fund the clock tower. They started visiting different areas to get ideas for the event. So they took different aspects that worked, and then every six years we added more and more. The first all-class reunion was held on the 4th of July in 1987 with a groundbreaking for the new clock tower and alumni building. Now the building serves as a time capsule, preserving the long legacy of each graduating class. Yearbooks, class rings, band and choir memorabilia, and so much more. And this reunion means so much to so many. It's a huge event. There's generally about 10,000 people. Uh, if you think about the most formative years of your life, the first 17 to 18 years, it's with the exact same people. So it's not a matter of coming back and seeing just your class. It's everybody. Those stories and that camaraderie, it's just amazing. And over the next two days, it is a huge party here in downtown East Liverpool. Classes dating all the way back to 1935 will be here, and they all get to celebrate East Liverpool pride together. And Dave, we are talking about tradition here tonight, right? Well, here in East Liverpool, Friday night football is a huge tradition like it is all across the valley. And the Potters have a pretty unique mascot, one that's actually being celebrated during this weekend's festivities. So I'm going to teach you more about Potter Pete and what he means to this community coming up on First News at 6. But that's the latest for now. Reporting live in East Liverpool tonight, Lindsay Watson, WKBN 27 First News.